Happy April 18th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party made camp and rested, and Ivy's curse lifted. So, that is wonderful. We are so very happy. Then, we took the safe route following the road to Ardenstone instead of exploring. Um, we did meet a colorful merchant on the way who sold us some expensive five-star honey that can either serve as a meal ration or a healing potion. We bought two jars. It was an extravagant purchase uh, and maybe not a great decision. We're down to seven amber. Um, but after the rough time the last few days, it felt good to reward ourselves. And now I believe we are getting close to our immediate destination. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for our growing party today. Okay. You enter the town of Ardenstone. Before you make it to the town center, you spot what could be some trouble. A merchant hauling a cart is stopped by what looks like a guard. You hear an aggressive conversation. We're going to eavesdrop, and then we're going to assess the crowd, and then we'll investigate. We'll do those things in order. There is a pickpocket icon on this page. So, uh, yeah, while this poor... <laughs> and it's four. Disco keeps... <laughs> okay, Disco's coming away with four amber from this, uh, this fellow <clears throat> while he's being interrogated, and we will... Uh, kindly return return those amber uh, to the gentleman. It looks like he has bees in his uh, in his cart there. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. One eavesdrop roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder: stealthy. Uh, Vinny can um, help us with the stealth if we need to. Let's see what we get here. 11 plus our dexterity of 2 is 13 and that is the best result so using stealth and observation skills you try to overhear the conversation without drawing attention and if the result is 11 or more the muscular wolf says patronizingly how's it going finch back in business are we you know there's a ban on goods related to bugs the merchant replies with hesitation Oh no, uh, just hauling junk for my sick mother, you know. The wolf continues. We've all heard the rumors from Crown Spire. Insects plotting and threatening the forests of Renwood and our safety. We can't knowingly help the enemy by trading with bugs. That means the bees too, right Finch? The merchant answers, answers frantically. But bees aren't insects. We've lived in harmony for ages, and this is my livelihood. You can't take them. You know what Blight is doing to them, right? And Blight here is capitalized, so uh, it's a person, I guess. The wolf barks back. Blight Deathclaw is helping the town. He keeps the bees docile, and the town of Ardenstone safe from insects. We'll have to take these from you and let Blight know you're trying to undermine him. Okay. Uh, step two, assess the crowd. This is a wisdom roll. 11 plus 1 is 12. Um, so that gives us... That gives us the best result again. I do like not being cursed. <laughs> you analyze the townspeople's reactions, looking for any signs of fear, resentment, or sympathy towards the merchant or the mob leader. Uh, and if the result is 11 or more, only a few members of the town pass by. Everyone else decides to take an alternate route. All the townsfolk try hard not to be seen looking in this direction. They are scared and intimidated by this wolf. So, okay. This guard, um, uh, he may not be all on the up and up, huh? Step three, investigate. Uh, so another investigation roll. This is plus intellect, 12. Our intellect is 0. <laughs> uh, we, and we got the best result again. You take the opportunity to discreetly investigate the merchant and the mob leader. Okay, that's uh, the mob and the mob leader. 
to gain insights into the dynamics and motivations at play. I'm not sure who the mob leader is. If the result is 12 or more, your keen observation uncovers the subtleties of the conversation. The merchant is indeed smuggling bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. I think that's obvious. Perhaps for some more uh, significant cause, I'm, <laughs> because of the bees in the image. Um, okay, the merchant is indeed smuggling bees, perhaps for some more significant cause. Well, the mob leader exploits the situation to his advantage. I guess, I guess they mean the guard? A corrupt figurehead is responsible for twisting the news from Crown Spire for their own gain. Oh, I guess they're referring to Blight here. Blight Deathclaw. Maybe he's the mob. Oh, mob like... Like mafia? Uh, this is causing a shadow of fear to spread throughout the town. Okay. Regard... Regardless of my confusion here on this last step, I think what's going on is, yeah, uh, this guard is working, this alleged guard, I guess, is working with this, uh, this fellow Blight Deathclaw, who is exploiting the news from Crown Spire for their own gain somehow, so, okay, well, not all is well in Ardenstone. So, I suspect we'll want to take some interest here and see if we can clear things up before we go on our way to find this first forest guardian that Eldris told us about. In any case, that, my friends, is April 18th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.